Hello and welcome to Football Daily, and this is our top 10 of players who failed to showcase their talent on the big occasions. 10. Roberto Baggio The Divine Ponytail is a Ballon d'Or winner and one of the most adored players to come from Italy, but you all know which moment is coming up, his infamous penalty miss in the 1994 World Cup final. Baggio was on top of the world before the World Cup, scoring 52 goals in 83 games for Juventus in his previous two seasons, and it was time for the best player on the planet to showcase his talent on the big stage. Baggio was great during Italy's run to the final, scoring five goals, including two in the semi against Stoichkov's Bulgaria. The final against Brazil finished 0-0 after extra time and went to penalties, and Baggio stepped up to take the fifth pen to keep Italy in with a chance. Robbie skied the spot kick to the dismay of Italy and most neutrals. According to Baggio, it affected him for years, but he found redemption in the next World Cup as he scored a penalty then against Chile. 9. Asamo Ajan Pele may have been a bit off the mark with his prediction of an African side winning the World Cup by the year 2000, but Ghana could have been the first side from the continent to reach the semi-final, if it wasn't for Luis Suarez. Instead of scoring goals, which Suarez seems to do for fun nowadays, El Pistolero decided to create his own hand of God, saving Dominic Adia's header off the line with his hands in the 120th minute. Suarez was sent off, and from the tunnel he watched Asamoah Jean look destined to become a national hero. Jean stepped up to take the penalty but smacked the ball against the crossbar, and Luis Suarez was celebrating like a madman. Uruguay won on pens, and in the shootout, Jean slotted home coolly. He must have been left wondering why he couldn't finish like that in the first place. 8. Antoine Griezmann 2016 was a mixed bag for Griezmann. The Frenchman established himself as a world-class forward at Atletico Madrid, but found himself on the losing side in two of the year's biggest competitions, the Champions League final and the Euro 2016 final. It was always going to be tough for Atleti facing local rivals Real Madrid in the final yet again. 1-0 down after half-time, Torres won a penalty for Atleti, and Griezmann stepped up to the plate to pull Los Colchoneros back into the game. Much like Jean, Griezmann hit the bar from the spot. Carrasco got an 80th minute equaliser before it went to pens, where Griezmann scored Atleti's first, but Real Madrid ran out victors in the rematch of the 2014 final. The Euro final didn't go much better for Antoine, glancing a free header from the six yard box over the bar and not creating much apart from a couple of corners put into good areas. It's finishing those kind of chances which made Drogba our ultimate big game player, but at 25, there's still time for Griezmann to develop into a guy who relishes the big moments. 7. Zlatan Ibrahimovic Zlatan may be a god in his head, Paris and maybe in Manchester now, but that wasn't reflected in his performances in the knockout rounds of the trophy that has eluded him his entire career, the Champions League. Though at a glance his goal-scoring record in the Champions League looks pretty impressive, Zlatan has played in the competition since he was a teenager, and on further inspection his 51 goals in 127 games is not all that. Remarkably, Zlatan has only scored 10 goals in 40 games in the knockout stage of the competition. His scoring rate over his career in the league is 0.62 goals a game, compared to the Champions League knockouts where it's a much lower 0.25. Luckily for him, he won't have to worry about that this season. 6. Olivier Giroud To say Olivier Giroud divides opinion is a bit of an understatement. He's capable of scoring and setting up fantastic goals, but he's just as capable of going 15 games without scoring one, like he did last season. Filling Van Persie's shoes was always going to be a tough ask, but despite the criticism, Giroud has done well, except when it comes to games against Arsenal's main rivals. Olivier's record against Chelsea, for example, is beyond abysmal, failing to get a goal or assist against the West London side in nine games. Not content with no-shows against Chelsea, Giroud has only managed to to score once in eight games against Man United, and that was a 90th minute consolation goal after coming on as a sub. Now many players have struggled against United, but when you think that this is during a period where David Moyes and Louis van Gaal were managers, it's no wonder that Gunas were craving a world-class striker. 5. Thierry Henry From one French Arsenal striker to another, this case is slightly different. 
arguably the greatest striker in Premier League history, sorry Alan Shearer, Thierry Henry is cemented as a legend and no one can argue otherwise. But if you had to pick one flaw with Henry, it would be the fact that he failed to score in a major final for Arsenal. That's right, Thierry failed to score in an FA Cup final or a Champions League or a UEFA Cup final for Arsenal. In fact, in six finals with the Gunners, he scored a big fat zero. The Champions League final is probably his biggest regret, as 10-man Arsenal were 1-0 up against Barcelona, failed to put away a couple of one-on-ones to make the score safe. Barcelona went on to win the match through a Giuliano Belletti goal. 4. Steven Gerrard Quite possibly the only player who could feature in both our big game players and big game chokers. As much as Gerard is remembered for games like the one against Olympiacos, he's also remembered for slipping over against Chelsea and basically costing Liverpool their first Premier League title ever. Gerard slipping wasn't the only time he helped Chelsea. In the 2005 Carling Cup final, he scored an own goal to get the Blues back into the game, which they went on to win. And in 2010, he played a lovely through ball to Didier Drogba to set Chelsea on their way. Maybe there was some truth in the Chelsea links a little while back. In an effort to outdo himself once again, Gerard came on at half-time for his last game against long-term rivals Man United. Within 38 seconds of being on the pitch, Gerard was back off it as he decided to absolutely absolutely clatter into Ander Herrera and was given his marching orders. What should have been a fairy tale finish ended as a nightmare. 3. Francesco Totti It hurts to put such an icon of the modern game onto this list, but when you're a runner-up in eight finals, it's hard to escape it. Il Gladiatore's upsets weren't limited to cup games either, as he and Roma have finished runners-up to the Serie A title eight times. To be fair to Totti, he has won Serie A, two Coppa Italias and two Supercoppers, scoring five goals in 14 finals appearances. But the 2010 Coppa Italia final will probably be the one he regrets the most, as he came on at half-time before being sent off in the 87th minute. This could never tarnish Totti's legacy though, as he could have had a much more decorated career if he'd moved away from Rome, yet he stayed loyal to his boyhood club through thick and thin. 2. The England national football team England is just a nation that loves to disappoint. From 1966 onwards, all that the English have had to be happy about is beating Germany 5-1 in their own backyard. Apart from that, it's been pure anguish and heartbreak for the three Lions. Since the heroics of Bobby Moore and Jeff Hurst, the furthest England have gone in a competition is the semi-finals at World Cup 1990 and Euro 96. Since then, the side have managed to go out in the group stage at World Cup 2014, in a group which contained Costa Rica. And they got knocked out in the round of 16 by Iceland at Euro 2016. Iceland is a country which has less population than the London borough of Croydon. Even the semi-finals England reached were tragic, as they lost both on penalties. And to make matters worse, they also lost the third-place playoff in Italia 90 to the host nation. Nothing has been worse than Euro 96, though, and Southgate bawling his eyes out in Wembley after his pen miss will haunt fans' memories forever. 1. Gonzalo Higuain only one man can trump an entire nation when it comes to bottling, and that is Gonzalo Higuain. Pepita is no doubt an elite striker, but his world-class finishing ability seems to completely disappear as soon as he's on the big stage. His shanks are so notorious that Marker have an article solely devoted to his top 10 catastrophic misses. Most of those come in cup competitions, such as an open goal miss against Leon for Madrid or f up a one-on-one -on -one with the mighty Pinto in the Copa del Rey. Gonzalo averages 0.6 goals per game in the league, yet a poor 0.3 per game in cup competitions. Perhaps his most famous big game flops, however, have come for his national side, where he seems to be on a one-man mission to stop Messi from ever getting an international trophy. He completely scuffed another one-on-one -on -one against Germany in the World Cup final when it was nil-nil, and missed a tougher chance in the 2015 Copa America final before missing, you guessed it, another one-on-one -on -one a year later against Chile in the Copa America Centenario. So that was our list of big game chokers, but who else bottles it on the big stage? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, click right here to watch loads more great content or down there to subscribe. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the flip side.